How do billboards talk? It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number four of Road Trip Week, and today we're going to be drawing a billboard. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, today we're going to be drawing a billboard, a sign that you would see alongside the road as you're traveling. And I'm going to be using a ruler as a straight edge because I have some longer lines that I want to draw, and it'll be easier to draw those long lines and keep them straight by using a ruler. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off... Uh, come down a ways from the top just a little bit, and this will be the top of our sign, our road, our uh, billboard. And it, there's not any set length; you can make it as long as you want. Um, I'm gonna. This one is about, if I look at it, it's about eight inches on this piece of paper, but you don't have to make it that long. And then I'm going to come down about three or four inches. Again, this the size of it is going to be up to you as far as how wide and how how tall. Um, but this is just a um, just a nice size here for what I'm doing for right now. And so I'm drawing another line there, trying to keep it straight and parallel with the one above. Okay, and then I'm going to come down below, and I'm going to make another line underneath here. And then I'm going to go down and make one more. I'm going to come down just a little bit farther for this one. And this is going to be at the base. It's actually going to be a, a trellis that covers up the uh, poles or the supports for this sign. This is an, based on a photographs that I've found of an of old billboards along the, were along the highways long, uh, several years ago, many years ago, long before I was around. <laughs> um, but I, I thought they were cool billboards, so I thought that would be a good example um, to use. And so. Now I'm drawing the sides, vertical lines for the sides and trying to keep them um, straight and square as best I can so that we have a more of a rectangle shape and not a trapezoid. All right, And then now what I want to do, this is the basic shape for the, the whole sign. I'm going to go back and you could keep straight edges here but I want to make some rounded corners on mine. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll race just a little here, a little bit at the corners of this top part of the rectangle. And then right here, erase these as well. And then I'm just going to go back and make a curve on each of these corners. This is the main part of the sign. This will have the message that's displayed. Now you could put a lot of things on these signs. You could make advertisements and all. My suggestion and, and my um, assignment, if you want to call it that, something that you I would ask you to do is to think of a destination, a place that you'd like to go and travel to see and then this could be an advertisement for that place and it could be an actual like a national landmark it could be um, some type of amusement park it could be even you know grandma and grandpa's house maybe you're, you're you could make a sign to advertise grandma and grandpa's house so just think of some kind of a destination some place that you would like to go in the summertime and then that's what you're making an advertisement for here um, now for the next part in the sign we're making a frame around the edge and so I'm going to use my straight edge again and I'm going to try to make it the same width all the way around um, this direction so I'm going to start off with a size that I, th I think looks pretty good and then I'm going to draw a line across then I'm going to try to continue that all the way around now each corner I want to make a little bit of a curve and then I'll line it up, try to get it parallel with the side here. And same thing over on this side. I'm going to make a little curve and then line it up parallel with the outside. Make a line down. Make a little curve at the bottom on both sides. There was a time when they, they outlawed billboards across the United States because they felt like it was a uh, distraction to drivers. But now you see a lot more of them coming back. And I, I don't know, it's, it could be a distraction. As a, a kid riding in the car, it's kind of neat to see those things as you're going down the highway and you, you get closer to your destination. You see more of them. Okay, so here's the, the top part of the sign. Again, you're going to put whatever you want to put in there as far as the destination. And then down below here, we're going to make a, a trellis 
just a some wood that covers up the poles that are holding up the sign, the posts that are holding the sign up. Okay, this is a solid piece of wood right here. Okay, it's supposed to be. And then underneath that, I'm going to make some slanted lines. Now you can use your ruler for this, or you could try to do it, you know, without the ruler. I'm going to start off with the ruler, and then I'll probably finish up without the ruler, just so you can see both ways it's to be done. And all I'm doing is I'm sliding it along, trying to keep it at the same angle. And I'm trying to get the same width between lines, but if it's not, that's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so this is how you do it if you were using the ruler. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit and do it without the ruler. So these lines are not going to be perfectly straight, but they're going to give the same idea of a sl the sl slanted lines all going the same direction. And then the trellis, the way it is, it looks, it has a crisscross design. So I've got the lines going one direction and then I'm going to turn them and make them go the other direction. So these lines then will go this way. Let me try, I'll start this off the same so you can see how it looks. Um, I'll start off with the ruler so you can see how it looks with the ruler as opposed to without the ruler. Of course if you have time and you take your time you can make it look really nice and neat. If you get in a hurry it's going to look a little less neat, a little bit more sloppy. Um, so I, you might want to use the ruler for it. Also when I'm not using the ruler I'm getting these extra lines here at the bottom that I'm going to have to clean up. So I'll go back and try to clean up this bottom edge just a little bit. Okay, but this is our drawing for today, a billboard. Well, now that we know how to draw a billboard, let's take some time and see how we can add that to the big picture. Okay, here's what our big picture looks like so far. Um, I went back and I, yesterday's um, suitcase, I went back and colored that in. I put a darker line around the edge so it does make it look a lot more like a sticker that you would place on a scrapbook page. Also colored in the rest of uh, the family in the car. And then today I added um, the billboard that I showed you how to draw. And so let's take a closer look at that. Okay, here's a closer look at the billboard that we drew today. Um, you can see that I added it to the highway picture that, from the other day. Um, and I just put it off to the side of the road. And I, in, in this photograph, you don't even see the whole billboard. I, I thought that would make it look more interesting to do it that way. Um, the destination I put on there is Anywhere USA, and it just happens to be 26 miles away. Now, you could you could put whatever um, words or pictures you want on the billboard, but this kind of gives you an idea of how you might use it in a, a scene, and especially with the highway that we learned how to draw. So this is our big picture for today. Well, now I'd like to take some time and look at some road trip photographs from when I was a kid. Okay, these photographs were taken on a family trip that we took to the Dakotas. And this, here's my brother, my dad, and I standing in front of a natural wonder here at the White River Valley. And this photograph is as my mother and my brother and I. And we're standing by a man-made wonder, a giant buffalo. This is out in, in the Badlands in North America. Okay, this photograph was taken in front of Mount Rushmore, as you can see. And this is my dad and my mom, and this was the first photograph that I ever took. I was four years old at the time, and I just I was really have been really proud of this photograph ever since. But it's the this is kind of a combination of a natural wonder and a, a man-made giant statue put together. Road trips can be a fun way to see and experience really neat things and places with your family and friends, and I hope you get the chance to take a road trip this summer. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper.